Hello, welcome to Learning of Knowledge. This is Ashish Gaurav and in this edition of Friday Talk, we will be talking about as the title suggests, how I got admission into ISI's MSQE course. Now it took a long time for me to realize that this is the course which I want to study. And to be more precise, December 2014 is the month in which I decided to pursue quantitative economics from the Indian Statistical Institute. And I asked one of my friends to help me with that. And he gave me good ideas on how to prepare for the exam. And after that, I read the book Varian on microeconomics and Monkey's Macroeconomics, like a storybook, for the next 20-25 days. And after that, I also enrolled in a coaching institute. These two things were necessary because I come from an engineering background and economics is something which I wanted to have a good understanding about before heading deep into the preparation. The coaching institute was not good for my preparation because I perhaps needed more attention on the basics of economics and not the problem solving aspect of it in the beginning parts of my preparation. I was either late in starting the preparation or I was either not in the right coaching institute. Keeping those things aside, I sat for the exams and I did not qualify for any of my uh, entrances. Noteworthy thing here is, I did not appear for IGIDR, Indira Gandhi Institute of Development Research. It's a very good institute, but at that point of time, I was in Delhi and I wanted to be in Delhi. So I only applied to uh, DSC, Delhi School of Economics, JNU, Jawaharlal Nehru University and ISI's Delhi Center. Now, when you apply to ISI, at least till when I was applying, you had to choose between Kolkata and Delhi because these are the only two places where quantitative economics is offered. Uh, jumping to July, I realized that I need to start working again because I had been out of the uh, working life for the last one year. So I took up a job and as luck would have it, I shifted to Mumbai and uh, I avoided IGIDR which is in Mumbai. And there is always an ironical part to your life. After I came to Mumbai, I knew that I have to prepare for MSQE. So I did prepare for MSQE side by side my work and I thought that it would be a good strategy because down the line I would have some amount of capital in my bank account and I would also have prepared for MSQE. But as things would turn out, I got an offer to work for a startup as a video lecturer in physics and I took up that role because I kind of liked that idea. Uh, so things started happening and uh, after one year I again sat for the exams and this time I did apply to IGIDR. Obviously I did not qualify for uh, most of the exams because my preparation was not perfect but I missed IGIDR interview by just 0.6 marks, 0.6, I mean it's not even one mark. After receiving that result, it was like I was completely devastated and I lost all hopes from my economics and transpiration. And I stopped the idea or rather I stopped thinking about economics preparation at all or rather economics interest preparation at all. So that was like an end point or rather a comma to my economics interest preparation and uh, I started an analytics kind of a project in my company and it was related to students performance uh, assessment analytics and I used to find out the weak areas and strong areas of each subject of each student uh, but the founders of that company did not uh, particularly like that idea or rather were not motivated enough for that so I had to part my ways and uh, I switched jobs and uh, in this process MSQ preparation came again and once again I decided to prepare for MSQE and to give you a rough timeline of things December 2014 is when I first asked my friend to give me pointers about MSQE preparation from Jan 15 to April 15 
that was my f- first round of preparation but from may 15 to july 15 i realized that my results are there and i'm not through any of those exams so from august 15 to july 16 i took up a job in mumbai and prepared half heartedly and i did not qualify for any of the exams and i missed igidr by 0.6 marks after that i guess my preparation was over i thought so so i took a break kind of thing and uh, as detailed i started a data science kind of a project in my company uh, which was not running that smoothly and i had to stop that in between and uh, also one more thing in the year 2017 i also got married things were looking as if i'm not going to msq preparation ever again in the month of uh, somewhere around july or june 2017 I again decided to prepare for MSQE and fast forward one year, 2nd July 2018, yes that's the date, I received my result of ISI and I qualified for the course. I got admission for MSQE at ISI Kolkata. Needless to say, there are other details too, like I did not fare well in the interview. After the interview, I thought Maybe this is it. I'm not getting into ISI. But as how things turn out in real life, you never know what is your best and what is required. Your best, it may be not required at that point of time. It might be lesser than what the world needs. And sometimes your worst could be more than what world needs. So I guess I would attribute part of it to luck and part of it to my repeated attempts at MSQ exam but 2nd July 2018 perhaps was one of the happiest days of my life because to be at ISI was one of my dreams so that's it about how I got into ISI or how I got admission into MSQ program of ISI Kolkata I don't want to repeat cliches over here now so I will end this video here and uh, few people have also requested me to make a video on how to prepare for ISI's MSQ program if you want me to make a video on that uh, comment me so that I will make it quick or else it's in my pipeline but if you comment I'll make it quicker than how I plan it there's also a blog post in my blog where I have detailed how to prepare for MSQE and even this video will have a blog form. You can find the links in the description below. So don't forget to check that those things out also. Do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new here and also press the bell icon.